Hey friends, Ash here with Sense. Guess what time it is? It's time for another soap review. And today we're taking a look at this beauty right here, Frosty Peppermint from Dr. Squatch. I'm assuming that probably 99% of you out there have seen the Dr. Squatch ads at some point or another because they are literally everywhere. They make men's natural soap and they come in five ounce bar. Uh, this one, Frosty Peppermint, is a limited edition. You can still get this as of this video on their website, but if you're watching this in the future, maybe not. Obviously it's made more for winter time when it's frosty outside. So let's go ahead and jump into this review. I'll break down how this one smells, how it works, whether it moisturizes or not, and just tell you whether or not I think you should buy it. So let's jump into it. So as I said, Dr. Squatch, their advertising is everywhere. God knows how much I've spent to have that. <laughs> as I said, Dr. Squatch, their advertising is everywhere. God knows how much they've spent to place that ad into every single man's Facebook and YouTube feed on the planet, or, or maybe just the US. And I have bought and used Dr. Squatch soaps in the past, so this isn't the first time that I've used them, though it is the first time that I used this particular bar here, or this scent, I should say. And one thing that I'm gonna cover really quickly before we jump into this is that um, Dr. Squatch soaps, uh, according what I found online, and lots of people have talked about this already, but they're not really made by Dr. Squatch. That's what most people seem to agree on. Uh, they most likely come from The Soap Guy, which is just www.thesoapguy.com. Now, if you buy soap from The Soap Guy, you have to do it in loaves, typically, like 12 bars in a loaf. If you go to the website, you'll see what I'm talking about. Though you can make kind of like sample packs where you have single bars of different uh, scents of soap. You can do that and I guess throw one in there. But at the Soap Guy, they do have a soap that's really, really, really familiar looking <laughs> if you're familiar with this one. And it's called Candy Cane. So if in the future, Dr. Squatch is not carrying Frosty Peppermint, you could hop on over to the Soap Guy and see if they have Candy Cane and get basically the same thing. And the bars of soap are a little bit cheaper over at the Soap Guy because you are typically buying in bulk. So you can get, for example, 12 bars of soap for 36 bucks, whereas this is gonna run you $7 per bar. All that out of the way, let's finally check out the presentation of the soap. So on the front here, you've got a picture of the doctor, Dr. Squatch, and you have this little cutout hole here so you can see the soap, and if you want to, you can smell it. As it says, smell the Squatch. This is, as I mentioned before, a natural soap, five ounce bar, frosty peppermint. On the side, it says featuring peppermint essential oil made in the USA. Learn more at drsquatch.com on the other side. And in case you were unaware of what scent frosty peppermint was going to be, it lets you know on the side, peppermint. And then on the back, the ingredients. I actually like checking these out on Dr. Squatch soaps because they let you know a little bit of what they put in here. So in this one, it has natural fragrance, menthol crystals, peppermint essential oil, and spearmint essential oil, along with a little bit of sea salt. Now, this is how the soap looked when it was brand spanking new, right out of the box. So again, five ounce size, that's what it's gonna look like when you first get your bar of soap. Now, I've been using mine for right at one week, and that's one shower per day, and this is how much is left of the soap. So as you can see right here, this soap does wear down pretty quickly. After one week of use, it is this size, and that's the experience that I had before when I bought these in the past. They last about two weeks. Now, depending on how often you shower, it could last a little bit longer, or it could last not quite that long. But for me, two weeks is pretty much what I get with regularity with Dr. Squatch soaps. Now let's talk really quickly about how this one smells. Really, really nice, as long as you like peppermint. If you like mint, if mint is your thing, then yes, this smells great. Really refreshing, eye-opening, and brisk. The menthol in here does give your skin kind of a, a cooled feeling, kind of an icy feeling. 
It doesn't last for too long once you hop out of the shower, you know, a couple minutes and then it's gone. But while you're in the shower, that mentholated feeling is really nice. And it's not the kind of menthol that, if this makes any sense, is aggressive. So it doesn't give you like weird tingles or anything like that. It's just this nice kind of cooling feeling on your skin, really pleasant. And like I said before, the scent itself, just mint pretty much. It doesn't have any kind of weird soapiness to it. So it really does just smell like a, a fresh mint with a cooling feature. And uh, really, I think it would work fantastic in summertime. I know that it's marketed for winter and it makes sense with the whole candy cane kind of coloration on the soap and frosty peppermint, all that stuff, you know, it's being marketed obviously as like a Christmas time kind of fragrance, you know, when it's snowing outside, but it would work really, really well when it's hot outside because it's gonna give you that, that eye-opening kind of minty blast and then that mentholated cooling feeling on your skin. I think uh, really this one would work best during that time of year. The soap itself, when you very, very first get it out of the box and get it into the shower and try to lather up, it kind of drags across your skin a little bit. But once you kind of work the soap in, it's great. It lathers really, really well. The uh, the lather washes off clean. You don't have any issues with any, you know, kind of soap scum going on on your skin. So that's all a big positive, of course. One thing you can do to try to extend the lifespan of the bar of soap is to get a soap saver, which actually I have. So in case you're unaware of those, they're like little uh, wooden things that you sit the soap on top of so it doesn't get that film underneath it and it doesn't wear down quite as quickly. But even with using that, you can see where the bar is after a week. Just figured I'd kind of throw that in there. So if you're getting less than two weeks, you could possibly try to get a soap saver, but it's not gonna extend the life that much. Now, as far as moisturizing goes, it's actually pretty good. I would say moderately moisturizing for me. Didn't have any issues with dry skin, didn't have any flakiness, you know, none of those white flakes popping up on your arms or anything like that, which looks a little creepy, <laughs> and uh, no itchy skin either, so big thumbs up there. One of the main issues with Dr. Squatch for people is the price. Like I mentioned before, $7 per bar. They also have a subscription service where you can sign up and have soap delivered to you at regular intervals, and you can save a little bit of money that way. Uh, if the price is an issue, but you like this type of soap, again, you can check out the soap guy. I'll leave a link in the description to his website. And actually at that website, they have a much, much bigger selection as far as the different scents go. All that being said, uh, for me, seven bucks is not that bad of a price. I wish it lasted longer. That's really the main drawback for me. Uh, I think especially if you're a guy who you know, doesn't have a lot of money to kind of throw around, then constantly buying $7 bars of soap over and over and over again, you know, multiple times through a month, that could get old. But that's really the only drawback for me. Smells awesome as long as you like mint. It doesn't come across smelling like a, a candied mint too much. It doesn't have too much of a sharpness to it, which I really like, and I like the mentholated kind of effect that it gives you. It's not really that much of an exfoliating bar, even though it has sea salt in here, it's not the kind of bar that, you know, when you rub it over your skin, it feels like it's, you know, scraping away <laughs> dead skin cells or anything like that. It's just kind of a smooth, normal bar. As far as lather goes, this one does great. It does fantastic with the loofah, so you'll get like a huge bunch of suds if you use it that way, but you can use it on skin, like bar straight to skin just as well, and it works very well with the washcloth also. So there we go, Dr. Squatch Frosty Peppermint. Gonna leave a link in the description to Dr. Squatch. That's how they should say their name. Or actually probably, probably not. And also leave a link to the soap guy. So get yourself some soap, some good smelling soap. This one's pretty good smelling. If you like peppermint, check it out. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you've smelled or used, I should say actually, Dr. Squatch soaps, let me know what you think about them. Good? Bad, too expensive, good bang for the buck, you know? Uh, it seems like a lot of people are on one side of the fence or the other. And I know you've seen the ads, don't pretend like you haven't. But yeah, let me know what you think about them. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me, stay safe out there, thanks for your support, you know, all that stuff. I'll see you tomorrow with another Fragrance or Soap video. See you guys.